Hello. Today I'm showing off my cute little Minolta Minoltina ALS. It's a rangefinder camera made by Minolta in the 1960s. Um, I believe it would have been a precursor to the Hymatic line, the world-renowned Hymatics. To me, it is on par with those because it does have a super fast lens. It's a 1.8, which in consumer rangefinder models like this, a 2.8 or higher f-stop was the norm. So anything under an f2 was considered the higher end because it could shoot under lower light conditions and have a nice short depth of field, giving a very professional sort of look to the images. It's a 35 millimeter film format. I received it, um, I believe this was an eBay purchase. Um, the meter was functioning fine. It's a selenium meter, so there's no batteries at all involved in this camera, which is great. There's a certain freedom involved there. But uh, I don't know how long they last, so we shall see. It's a radioactive material, which is fabulous that I'm con using this and putting up up against my face to shoot pictures always wondered about that but uh, nice little camera it's a, it's a great size it's very small it is equal to I would consider it um, size wise along with the Olympus smaller range finders from this era and on into the 70s um, again like I say on the bottom there's no batteries no anything down here so all you have is a side where the door opens I received it um, in near mint condition with the original case, which was very good condition, the original lens cap, which says Minolta on it, and then on the bottom here, there was a little bit of scuffing around here, which is normal around where the tripod mount is. Then on the back, we have nice ASA and DIN conversions, which at the time, I think they were using the DIN numbers instead, so this might have been a transition period between the two. ASA, ASA is more what's used at this point in time. Up here you have the uh, meter readout. So this needle does move up and down depending on what this meter is seeing. You can see it moving a little bit right now. Not a whole lot since I'm indoors so there's not a lot of ambient light to set it off. I found the metering on it is pretty accurate. I've gotten some nice exposures, really nice images with it. Um, and then we have a an accessory slash flash shoe here. It is not a hot shoe, so if you use a flash with this model of camera, you have to use one with the plug connector here. I forget the name of the particular plug, but I have the cables with some old Vivitar flashes that I use with it. And then the winder here, film door opens on the side here. Again, this was super clean. Um, I have yet to do the seals on it. They're a little bit rotten, but it has no light leaks whatsoever. Again, my images are fine. They don't show any of that. Um, all the mechanics in here are good. The film pressure plate, everything's intact in beautiful condition. It's definitely my first recent favorite rangefinder. It's just so portable, so handy. I pop it in a little case just to protect it since she's an old girl. I call her Tina. She's got a nickname like a lot of my cameras do. So she's Minol Tina, so I shortened the name. Um, great little camera. Highly recommend it. Um, it is pretty much something a lot of people don't know about, I guess, the Minol Tina line. There was a P version, I believe it was, that was the 2.8 the slower lens. Um, I believe this was the only Minoltina model that had this fast lens on it. There might have only been two or three in the Minoltina line anyway. I think they must have switched to the Hymatic after this line was out. But overall it's a great camera. Since they are not as well known, they're very undervalued on the used market right now. So this one on eBay, I got in a lot of three range finders, I believe for $30. So I basically paid $10 for it. The only issue I had with it was that the shutter was stuck, but this assembly is very easy to re remove with a set of spanner wrenches, the inside assembly here. You just take out one piece at a time until you get to the shutter blades. And I put a little lighter fluid and she ran perfectly from there. Um, I may have to do it again in the future because even in this light I can see 
in their little residue on the blades so I might have to do it again in the future but she's run great until now so my lovely little Tina.